please jesus tell me i screenshotted this this thing i did <laughs>what's good how are you all doing um my eyebrows might look a bit harsh because i lost my spoolie so i didn't comb them out just ignore them if they don't look nice let's get into this dilemma hi courtney i really like your advice videos thank you so much in fact all of your videos in general help i'm having a relationship crisis my name is insert name here and i am 21 years old i've been seeing this guy for a while now but i don't know if I should call everything off basically he's 31 years old and I'm 21 years old he really likes me and his family likes me too but he's got a seven year old child with another woman but they're not together anymore his daughter really likes me but his ex can't stand me I've known him for like a year and a half now and lately he's been discussing the topic of marriage and meeting my family which I'm really really scared of I haven't told my family about him only my close friends some of my friends say that he might take advantage of me because I'm really young I'm just having mixed emotions right now also he likes to get intimate with me a lot and I'm scared of taking things too far because I'm not ready to have sex with him I feel like if I tell him that I'm not ready to have sex with him he might think that I don't love him I'm a church girl and I believe in no sex before marriage please help me sorry if this message is too long stay blessed thank you so much for sending me your message number one number two the message is not too long and number three let's get right into it so the first thing i want to address is obviously the age difference you guys are 10 years apart from each other now as somebody who is a self-confessed um i want to date someone who's much older than me sort of person um i used to be very oh the age gap 10 years seven years what a beautiful age gap and i think those age gaps are good when you read a certain time in your life you know him being 71 and you being 61 don't sound that bad but you being 21 and him being 31 there are different levels of maturity i feel like you are at and i know a lot of people say oh well girls mature faster than guys which i kind of believe to an extent but i feel like it's not really a mental thing it's more of a societal thing i feel like you are at very different stages in your life especially him having a child who is seven years old adds to that his level of not necessarily maturity but his way of thinking about life is very different to your way of thinking about life and the things that you might want to do in your life as a 21 year old the things that you might want to do in terms of exploring and being adventurous with your career the world your your life in general he may have passed that phase especially now he has to really man up because he has somebody to take care of and that might be something that you want to think about if he's thinking about marriage firstly are you at 21 years old as you are ready to get married to somebody and to be somebody's wife and to be somebody's stepmother at 21 years old you are you can answer that question because i don't know your life but i'm thinking in a more practical sense and i think sometimes in relationships we look to the whole i love him we're romantically amazing we're so compatible da, 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 da. but you have to remember that compatibility has an element of practicality to it and practically are you ready to be married fully committed no way out <laughs> to this guy and yes there's divorce but you don't want to go into marriage thinking oh there's a way out of divorce you know you want to be with this guy preferably forever and you said you're a church girl that's the way you should think about it is this the person that you're going to love forever and not just love but really be in tune with spiritually physically mentally financially and he's bringing in another element to this relationship he has a child and that child is bringing another element into a relationship that child has a mother are you ready to handle all of these different components which will bring pressure which will bring i mean it could, i'm not saying that it's going to be a negative thing and i don't believe that all baby mamas are evil and difficult but you do have to understand that she will always have an influence in his life she will always have a say in his life because they share such a valuable thing which is a child and if the baby mama doesn't like you that may make things a lot harder for you than you would like at your age especially because 
you have an opportunity to live the next couple of years or, or the next decade of your life looking for somebody who would be amazing for you, looking for somebody who's only a couple years older than you, who kind of understands where you're coming from in terms of your stage in your life. And that may be something you might want to look into. Now, the next thing I definitely want to address is this notion of, I'm scared if I don't have sex with him, he will think I don't love him. Now, I can relate to you 100% on this. I have been in relationships with people in the past who have tried to pressure you into reaching a new level of intimacy with them. Um, obviously, which go against your beliefs or your morals or whatever you're holding yourself to and kind of turn it all around and flip it over and make it seem like you not doing that is obviously proof you don't love me, you don't care about me as much as you think you do. And a lot of people do come to me and they're like, well, surely him wanting to have sex with you or she her or she or her wanting to have sex with you before you got are married doesn't make them a bad person and no it doesn't make them a bad person nothing she mentioned in this um story or in this question mentioned that oh he's a church guy or that you know he's a religious guy or he holds the same beliefs because obviously he he must have been having sex in previous relationships because he has a child unless he's obviously it's been seven years his views might have changed by now but if he is trying to you know push you into being intimate with him then i'm going to assume that he has no problem having sex before marriage and i personally feel like those sorts of situations you should always avoid you should be with somebody who is like-minded with you on situations like this because these are some things which you don't want to compromise on if you're a christian if you're a muslim if you're just a religious person or if you're a person who is trying to hold themselves to not having sex before marriage the reason why um, most of these religious texts, including the Bible, advise you not to be unequally yoked with somebody is because situations like this make you being in a relationship with the other person who has different beliefs to you very, very difficult. It causes a lot of friction. It causes a lot of arguments. It causes a lot of miscommunication between you guys. You know, like you said, he may interpret you not wanting to have sex with him as you not loving him. Now, even that excuse, I always see it as a guy just flipping it on you. He knows you love him, but he just wants to get his own way. However, you need to be with somebody who sees the same value or who, who has the same values as you do basically and who has the same interests as you do so that you can walk at the same level on the same path, so that you can walk on the same level at the same path. It's very easy to fall when somebody's trying to continuously tell you do this with me do that with me let's do this let's do that especially when they're tempting you with something which deep down your flesh is telling you you want so in my opinion that's red flag number two <laughs> the other one is will he take advantage of me because of the age difference i don't know it depends on the character of the guy that you're with i guess some people with massive age gaps can make it work however i mean i can't really speak on whether he's trying to take advantage of you or not however it's up to you to decide do you feel taken advantage of and sometimes we find it hard to be very real with ourselves and to let ourselves know what is what be very clear with yourself has he made you feel like he's taken advantage advantage has he made you feel like this relationship cannot work has he made you feel like you're going to have to compromise your values in order to be with him if yes then this whole relationship just let it go you have time you're 21 like in my opinion i think you need to break this off and i told her on snapchat listen i think i think this one gotta go there's plenty more fish in the sea you know well maybe not plenty but you're gonna find yours you're gonna find your own you're gonna find something that is much easier for you and i feel like this somebody's making tea in the kitchen making so much noise i just want to record okay if you can hear the kettle boiling my dad's making tea <laughs> um yeah but this is something you have to decide for yourself i feel like at your age you don't have to rush into marriage you don't have to rush into being in a relationship with somebody especially if there are so many things which you have to compromise and turn the other um and you have to look away from and you have to just kind of tell yourself oh well you can work with it you don't want your relationship you don't want your marriage you don't want a serious relationship to be so much work like and i'm talking about i know relationships are work but this is a lot of overtime this is dealing with the baby mom 
mama, dealing with the age gap, dealing with the daughter, and these are all different people's lives who can impact yours and your emotions, your mental stability, your relationship, and your view of yourself, and you don't want to put yourself in that sort of situation. Well, I wouldn't want to put myself in that sort of situation. Now, you can choose, obviously, to do whatever it is you want to do. I would just all in all advise, <laughs> this relationship ain't worth it. He's got a child, he's 31, he's got a baby mom, he want to have sex with you and you don't want to have sex yet and now he's talking about marriage and everything seems a bit scary to you and you should never be scared and I'm talking about you can be nervous you can think oh but what if it doesn't work but you should deep down in your gut you know when you're that bad sort of scared that my life is about to be hell kind of scared so um I hope that helped you out girl if you are in a similar sort of situation I hope this helped you out too it is, it's a tricky one, especially if love is involved and emotions and history and all these different words. But I mean, I know what I would do. I hope I have advised you kind of well. Comment down below what your thoughts are. I mean, this is kind of a tricky one. So um, comment down below what your thoughts are, what you would do in the situation, how you would advise your girl on the situation. And I will talk to you all later. Thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe, watch some previous uploads, do your thing. And um, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.